Hi everybody, Emily Shabelle here for Pinkfresh Studio and today I am running you through a layout I created using mostly the stencils and the dies. There is no uh, scrapbooking paper collection and it really goes to show that you can create a gorgeous layout using your card making um, product. So I started by foiling some of those gorgeous butterflies and then I went on to stenciling them in with pinks. I wanted to have a very girly pink layout because I don't know, I get the impression I haven't done one in, in a while. And I love those pink, especially for uh, the butterfly. I left one of the layers out just to make sure that we still had a little bit of white coming through, just uh, a bit of uh, fresh air throughout. Once I stenciled um, all the butterfly and I was happy with the colours, I went on to cut them with the die cut. So they're very easy to line up. I secure it with a little bit of washi tape and run it through my machine, take them all out and they are such a gorgeous little addition, a little embellishment that I love to add to my layout. I then went on to cut out several circles, scallop circles and this is going to be one of the features as well in my layout so i cut a lot of them out of white cardstock and you'll see just this many is enough to create um enough circle for a layout and yeah um, i think i've cut that piece of paper was not much more than uh, eight by six inches so you can you know it goes a long way i then went on to water down some of the pinking the same pinking that I used for my butterfly and I wait I go ahead and uh, paint some circle on the my white cardstock and I'm just looking at the size the average size by uh, taking one of the uh, little circle I just look it up and place it a little bit above and as you can see I just then randomly free-handed uh, do a few circles and add a lot of splatter. Once I'm happy with all my circle and they dry, I just go ahead and place my circle above them just to make sure that I'm happy with that. I then go on to stick them down to my background with either double sided sticky foam pads or I use uh, just trade directly some uh, glue, crafting glue. Um, this creates a play with volume and with layers, it just gives you know, quite a nice impression of uh, dimension onto the layout just to have some that are higher and some that are just directly onto the paper i just love that effect onto my layout I then decided to foil directly some of the circles so it's one of the techniques I've seen um, I think it was Heather or Leah um, use in some of their videos and I thought that was a great idea just to add a little bit more gold to my layout um, because we have the gold onto the butterfly that we foiled previously but now I want it to add a little bit more gold just to give it a bit more consistency so once my uh, foil is uh, hot enough put it through my die cutting machine and all I do is just lift the foil so I love the fact that around the edges it's a little bit grungy and I think it works really really nicely with my mixed media background mm -hmm. 
I glue everything in place again so some of it is with uh, um, the glue directly onto the um, background or directly onto the elevated or the, the other discs are already elevate, elevated. I go on to place my photograph with double sided sticky foam pad just again to bring more volume and then the fun begin with uh, the placement of all those gorgeous gorgeous butterflies. now doing my titles and I used a stencil that give that element of ribbons and absolutely love the look of them and same I use the same exact pinks as for the rest of my layout uh, free colors because they come to three layers and I'm sparing you the whole <laughs> look at the ribbon because effectively it's exactly the same as with a butterfly except that there's no foiling and here is my finished layout and um, the only thing that you haven't seen is me using those beautiful golden pearls but other than that um, here's the finished layout I hope you enjoyed this process video and uh, thank you so much for watching bye